Hi, my name is Sean Hardy and I'm the National Volleyball Director for Triple Crown Sports. With the help of the top volleyball clubs around the country, we have built an elite event in Salt Lake City, Utah over President's Day weekend. The 2017 event is sold out and we're currently working on teams for the 2018 Triple Crown preseason NIT in Salt Lake City, Utah. It's built for the elite teams, so what we do is we seed the teams, the top 50% of the teams are put into power pools. Those power pools then are played and all those teams get to make the championship bracket. The bottom 50% of the teams get put into pools and they have to earn their way into the championship bracket. For an example, in the 18 open bracket, um, the top six teams that are seeded will all be pooled together on day one and then geographically separated so they play other teams from around the region. Those teams are all considered number one seeds and will play for seeds one through six or one through eight in the bracket play. The next pool would be seeds seven through 12 and they are then playing for uh, those seeds in the bracket play and also guaranteed to make it. We geographically separate the team so that they are playing teams from that come to the tournament that are not from their region or from different governing bodies, i.e. JVA teams playing a lot of the USA Volleyball teams. One of the other questions we get is how do we seed the teams that come into the tournament? We use multiple um, indicators or ranking systems. We use US Club rankings. We use Prep Volleyball's preseason ranking for that year. We use AES's ranking system for any events that have already occurred that year. We also talk to the different club directors or different teams in the event to find out who they've added, who um, gained some uh, players that make them a little bit different. And then in the end, um, I, Sean Hardy, will make that decision. Another thing that makes this tournament really unique is the waves that we use. Since it all, the, all brackets are open brackets, what we do is the 17s and 18s play in the morning wave. The 14s, 15s, and 16s will pl all play in the afternoon wave. What makes that kind of unique is the fact that college coaches from around the country that come in can sit on and recruit their 17s and 18s during the morning session and not have to fight to go recruit their 14s, 15s, and 16s, which in our event are the afternoon session um, for the uh, tournament. One of the things that this elite event has drawn is top college coaches from around the country. Top colleges, Division II colleges, even junior colleges were in attendance of this last year's event. With the increase of top quality teams, we see having between 400 and 500 college coaches from all over the United States at this event in 2017. Please make sure your coaches fly in Friday by 5 p.m. They will not want to miss our coach party and team check-in Friday night from 6 to 9 o'clock. Last year it was well attended and coaches and college coaches did not end up leaving till 11 o'clock at night. It is a great feature of the event and a great way for you to meet up with some of your coaching friends before the event gets ready to start. Last but not least, please make sure you do not book your plane flights out of Salt Lake City until 6 p.m. or later due to championship games and semifinal games of certain age groups and certain brackets will not be played until 2 p.m. on that Monday, so plan accordingly. We look forward to seeing you guys out there in 2017 event. If you're planning on coming or want to come for the 2018 event, please contact me as soon as possible so we can get your team or club on the list as the demand for the event has grown and the space is limited each year to get in there. You can go to triplecrownsports.com to find out more information on the event or feel free to call me, Sean Hardy, at 970-672-0555. Thank you.